Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I kind of want to talk about a random topic of like, uh, obviously like nowadays it's kind of like the perfect storm of like comic book adaptations, whether it's in the movies or TV shows. Mainly it's obviously a lot of the superhero genre, but obviously there's been a lot of other things that are just kind of like non-superhero related that are uh, based on comic books. And I'm not trying to say this in like, oh my God, there's so much comic book related stuff. Oh, it's just cause it's like, no, like I'm loving it because obviously for one, it's given me access to a lot of superheroes I haven't known, uh, I've never known about, or as well as just stories in generals that I had no idea like exist. Cause I'm not, as you know, I don't really read comic books, not because I haven't wanted to, but it's just like, I've never gone out of my way to be a comic book person. So it's just one of those things where it's like, I appreciate a lot of stories coming to life and everything like that. Obviously, like, you know, when it gets turned to TV and stuff like that, obviously it's kind of like, obviously it's an adaptation, so there's going to be changes and stuff like that. But even then, it's still, I appreciate it because I always love going back and learning like, oh, so these are the differences between this TV show and or movie compared to the comic book that the original material is pulled from. I mean, more so than that, in this video, I kind of want to talk about how, like, I, I, it's so interesting when you break things down and like, all these comic book adaptations being specifically related to a certain network. What I mean is you take something like the CW, for example, like the CW has got like a whole DC like run because it's got Supergirl, it's got Arrow, Flash, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and soon to be uh, Black Lightning. But obviously that's like kind of like a DC universe. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing. It's like making its own little DC universe. But obviously you have other networks like ABC, like, you know, in general, because ABC has like, Agent to Shield, but also soon to be like Cloak and Dagger. Granted, that'll be on free form, but I still think that falls on the umbrella of ABC, considering the fact is there was ABC Family originally before it was free form. So I think that counts. Obviously, Netflix got its little circle of Netflix shows. Um, a very interesting, interesting one to me is um, Fox, because Fox is like doubled up a little bit, because obviously Fox has access to the like mutant side of the marvel universe so obviously they've got stuff like legion as well i mean just in general the x-men movie but also obviously the upcoming show gifted but they also have dc stuff like gotham and also lucifer i mean granted lucifer is vertigo but that's still under the umbrella of dc comics so and i just i think that's so fascinating that like they're the only ones like that because everyone else is specifically someone else like i said abc marvel the cw is purely dc you have other networks like amc which kind of split because it's like they have the walking dead which is image and then it has uh preacher which is vertigo then there's like cinemax which cinemax uh has outcast which is like image as well i mean makes sense robert kirkman and all that but then like they, i forgot what it was because it was like i was looking at a list of tv shows that it has coming up that i thought was kind of interesting uh, i was reading into like their synopsis a little bit and they seem like very fascinating things i'll include the names to of them but i can't remember because i have to look them up afterwards but they seem very fascinating i was like huh so even um cinemax is getting into that like comic book adaptation uh thing now too so that's like right there in itself that's like four or five networks that are just like additing like i'm not saying that's all they are but it's just so interesting that that's kind of being incorporated in a lot a lot of them it's obviously like you know a lot of that superhero related stuff i feel such a like it's such a douchebag because i completely forgot about including i zombie to that too like i mean once again that falls under the category like uh lucifer because it's vertigo but once again under dc umbrella so it still doesn't change the fact is of like cw being dc orientated so it makes you wonder did they like ever plan for stuff like that like oh we're gonna be like you know the dc or we're gonna be the marvel or we're gonna be this and we're gonna be that it's just so fascinating to me that channels can be labeled as just kind of like oh we're purely this i mean like when it comes to original stuff, obviously, like, Netflix is obviously more, Marvel leans more of the Marvel side. I mean, granted, they do have, like, the other DC shows, like, they have Supergirl, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Gotham. They have those up there for you to watch, but it's just so interesting. Like, amongst their original material, it's mainly Marvel, but it makes you wonder, do they ever, ever have any plans of making any DC stuff going forward? So, it makes you wonder, is it because, like, certain networks are more inclined because, like, oh, we're more fans of this material? But then again, I think it's because, now that I think about it, like I think DC, I mean, I think ABC is connected to Disney. I mean, considering like the fact is it also airs Once Upon a Time, which is kind of another Disney property. I think there's like a connection there, like ABC Studios. 
I don't know. Like I, I'm legitimately talking about that. I'm out of my ass here when it comes to that because I don't know the inner workings of like a lot of networks and stuff like that. Because the thing is, what I find most fascinating is like obviously like the CW is kind of setting up its little like DC universe. Like a lot of people kind of thrown out the thought like, oh maybe the CW is trying to start up its own kind of little TV Justice League. Obviously you have the movie adaptation coming soon enough, but still maybe that's kind of like I mean you kind of got that to assault uh to like not as a uh, like a, a unified degree like during the whole heroes versus aliens crossover amongst like the four uh main dc shows on the cw but it's like it seems like that as well as obviously with the marvel front on the netflix originals like they're kind of obviously coming together as the defenders so it's like those are the only examples of stuff where it's like oh yeah they're building their own little like tv universes that are kind of connected and i feel like that doesn't really apply to like any of anything else because everything else is just kind of like a one-off show it's like oh we like this story and we want to bring it to you type of thing is what i feel like a lot of other networks are kind of like so that's just where my mind was i think that's just kind of fascinating those are the only two examples of like oh this is well fox to a certain degree like i said it that I, i've talked about it before but like that also depends on like because obviously obviously gifted at the gifted and legion kind of take place in the same universe and everything but whether they're directly connected it seems like they're kind of like, oh, these are just isolated stories that take place in the same universe type of thing. But even then, that can be kind of accumulated to be like, oh, this is still, you know, universe building, just like the other two examples I've given. I know it's very confusing the way I kind of talk around like that, so I apologize. I'm curious to see if there's going to be any other networks that really tried to build upon that. Because there's certain stories that you can't like, like obviously it's made both like by Robert Kirkman, there's The Walking Dead, and then there's outcast you can't really have those coexist because of what the stories are and where they take place i mean i guess if you really for whatever reason wanted to you possibly could i mean it'd be hard considering you know what the stories are about and everything because obviously what one's kind of post-apocalyptic another one's just kind of like set in modern days the world still together is just kind of a supernatural element added to it so it's like you couldn't really put those together so but i'm wondering is there anyone else that's trying to build their own like comic book adaptation network how to be like oh this this is us building this universe because i don't think there's too many i mean i could be wrong but i'm not that familiar with a lot of like comic books i mean in general obviously but like universes other than like obviously dc and marvel they're like the huge huge universes but i feel like everything else typically comic book related even if it's made by the same person it's like yeah that's his own story it's set in his own place in his own time and this other story i created is set in his own time in his own place there's not there might be like some one-off crossovers because it's like oh this would be kind of interesting create crossing these two worlds together and stuff like that obviously it happens sometimes with marvel and dc like oh yeah this superhero versus this superhero or this superhero versus this villain from a different universe type of situation so it's like I don't think there's a lot of room for that to happen. I mean, I could be wrong. If you if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. I mean, obviously your thoughts about everything. Do you find that as interesting? Or are you just kind of like, oh yeah, that's a thing, whatever. I, it's just, it's something fascinating to me when you actually break it down and think it, about it like that. But also like, are you familiar with any comic books that you're like, yeah, like honestly, these kind of take place in the same universe. So they would actually, you know, aside from DC and obviously Marvel, but are there any other comic book universes you're like, yeah, like someone, if they got the rights to this and added, adapted it into a TV show or whatever, or maybe even movies, you know like i said you know they could obviously like put this all together in like one particular universe like a, a great example would be like lucifer like lucifer itself like it's I, I, an ad adaptation of a comic book it's that comic book itself and it's something i've talked about in the past is a spin-off of another comic book called the sandman which i remember reading a, i don't know if it, anything's ever happened with it but i remember like joseph gordon levitz was trying to get that adapted into a movie that's a series where it's like if you were to later on like include that on like try and bring that to life on tv for example like obviously that and lucifer like i mean i would assume out of anyone fox would try to aim for that but if someone else got access to it like i mean there's always that flash and supergirl thing where it happened like that first big like cross network like crossover so something like that could happen but i feel like if anyone were to go do it it'd have to be like fox and then they could like they could obviously include you know make a big crossover because those are in the same universes and stuff like that so that's kind of like the only example i can really think of that would kind of fit that could be made so i mean like i said just this is just like a random conversation thoughts that i had in my head that i, could, I don't know i kind of want to share with you guys so but really that's all i want to talk about in this video to the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye